Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Friends, today I am going to discuss about the SMPP Deliver SM in details. By the way, by it, I will be describing why the SMPP Deliver SM is used and how the PDU is uh, constructed in uh, Deliver SM. So this will be an in-depth discussion related to uh, Deliver SM, why Deliver SM is required, how the Deliver SM message is constructed. So as a developer, how you will do this uh, byte by byte construction of PDU. So this I will be describing in details. So before going to discuss this, let's uh, check here. I have already uploaded more videos related to, uh, here is my channel. And I have uh, uploaded more videos related to SMPP, SMS and SMSE. So you can go through all this uh, first so get a detailed idea of idea how uh, SMS SMS works so how SMPP works you will get a detailed idea of the protocols so I recommend you to go through all these videos first so let's touch to this topic friends uh, So deliver SM message basically is used for delivering an SMS. Uh, so there are another use of this uh, deliver SM. It's used for uh, getting the receipt as well. So if uh, if a SMS fails because of any reason, SMS sends back the delivery report in deliver SM. So I will be describing how this is done. So there are multiple kind of delivery reports are there like SMA delivery acknowledgement, SMA manual user acknowledgement. So these all these are uh, sent via deliver SM. So let's understand the deliver SM message. What are the various uh, uh, various fields or what are the various headers so the headers are common across all like common length common id common status sequence number all these things so let's understand this uh, in wireshark trees how this looks like actually so basically here is the wireshark trees where i have captured a deliver sm message so you can see this is a deliver sm message so <clears throat> there are two kinds of deliver SM as I mentioned. Deliver SM is used for delivering an SMS as well and get the delivery report as well. So here the first first four, four bytes is the length of the message, then the deliver SM, the operation, uh, the common uh, command used for. So five is used for hex five is used for deliver SM. Then then comes the sequence number. Then the, comes the service type which is default here and uh, then comes the uh, so after sequence number is the service type then the source address and the destination address are mentioned here so it's like uh, submit sm only so but there is a small difference between deliver sm and submit sm so deliver sm is used for delivery report as well so uh, here you can see that uh, so next is the source address uh, source address type source address plan indicator then uh, source address uh, originator address so basically this is the numbering plan whether isdn or this then the type of number whether it's an international number or national number then the origination address is there so it means the address type of number then the destination uh, destination number so the next field is the destination number source address then destination address on an npi then the destination address so similarly here here is the type of uh, number then the numbering plan indicator type of number numbering plan indicator and the address of the destination party so this is uh, the format of the destination number then the messaging mode is there which message mode is used so the next is the SME class uh, then the protocol ID and priority flag these are used so these I already described was is the meaning of all these fields in earlier videos so better you go through all these videos first so you, do, you will get a best understanding of uh, what these fields means because these I already described in earlier videos so here message mode is the default SMS mode and short message SME delivery receipt is required or not so this is what is mentioned here so uh, here is the specific feature related to uh, 
this then the protocol id then the priority level uh, what is the priority level and uh, this then the schedule delivery time whether it's immediate delivery or you want some time uh, defined here then the validity period how long this uh, message will be there in the uh, sms how long it will keep the message so validity is mentioned here so if you are delivery received requested or not this flag basically this uh, last two bits of this eight eight bit last first two bits means the delivery received then message type then intermediate notification required or not replace to not replace then uh, whether to replace the earlier message or not something like that so then comes the actual message where the data coding scheme is defined so here it's defined as zero so default data coding scheme is defined so predefined message message length is there and this is the actual message which actually you will be send an sms now if it is a delivery receipt if it is a delivery receipt there are optional parameters are defined to understand whether this is the important part of the deliver sm so if it is a delivery receipt so it will mention what kind of failure it is if a submit sm fails and it asks for a delivery receipt so this optional parameter will define what kind of failure it is so here is a failure like delivery failure permanent network error because of some network error this delivery fail so that so the person who is doing this submit sm which application is doing the submit sm will understand that this message failed because of this network error so this is how the delivery received contains the failure reason uh, of the uh, message uh, of the deliver sm uh, so uh, so here are the details so here is the short message so these are all mandatory parameters so i will be describing the optional parameters as well these mandatory parameters i have described in my earlier videos also so these are almost related to submit sm as well so this uh, so these i am not getting described in uh, details today so the optional parameters I will be describing in another video. So here you can see that the uh, deliver SM, the most important optional parameter is this, that why the delivery failed. If it is a delivery receipt, so it will uh, show you why the delivery is failed with the reason. So this is all about deliver SM. So friends, uh, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Here is my channel and you can subscribe here and uh, press the notification bell icon so that you will get the notification. So don't forget to subscribe and share and like these videos as well. Thanks friends. Uh, and here I have uploaded few more videos related to CVOF RTP, SS7 related, protocol related, CC++ related, OpenSafe related, then CP traffic testing tool related videos as well. Here are few more related to IVRTCs and SMPP. Here is some logic SMPP tool I have uh, uploaded few more videos where you can simulate the SMPP messages to test your application. So this is all about uh, this deliver SM. So friends, thanks, thanks for watching.